It's me, Santa Claus. I have a present for all of you. Just kidding. It's me, Dragon Dude. My disappointment is immeasurable. But I do have a present for you all. A new Dragon Dude build battle video. This time we have 8 different builds that we'll be reviewing in this video. Not only that but we're going to rank them one by one from S tier all the way to F tier. And at the end, I'm going to choose my favorite of all the 8 builds. Without further ado let's get started with the first build on our list. So here we are in the map of the first build and there it is. It's a mini castle built entirely with candles. And my poor PC can't handle this. My frame rate is dying. Please help. Actually, you guys should like and subscribe right now so I can save money to buy a better PC. This build took 8 hours to make and from the outside it looks really good. Let's go check the inside now. You can see the candles much clearer from the inside. The person who built this did a really great job in detail and you can really tell they put a lot of effort into it. There's not really much going on in the inside but I think the candle itself is already really cool. Like there's probably around more than a hundred candles in this build and if I was the person making it I'd probably die from all the time it took. For me this is definitely an S tier build. Moving on to the next build on our list, we have a cool mansion. I'm currently in front of the mansion and just take a look at this thing. It's massive. Also has a Lambo in the front, shows you how rich the owner is, but before we take a look inside, let me change this up a bit. There we go, much better. Here we have the kitchen and dining room. Looks like we also have a microwave with a donut inside. We got giant plastic water bottles and watermelons. Don't forget to drink your water guys. Here we also have a fridge that's filled with all kinds of food. If I was stuck in this house for a whole month I won't even need to worry about food. A really nice kitchen. If I was a chef I'd definitely cook here. But I'm not a chef and if I tried to cook I would probably burn the whole house instead. Oh my god, they even have an elevator. And it actually works. That's very cool. Here we have the second floor which is basically just a gaming room. We got bean bags, an air conditioner, a couch, a TV, so many things gamers love. We also have a British flag. I guess whoever built this is English in it. There's even another elevator. I would love to have this guy's mini roll. The other elevator actually leads to another room. I'm guessing this is a bedroom. They also got a bathroom with a car bathtub. I would love to ride that car in real life. Oops, I accidentally glitched to the roof but it's alright cause even the roof is decorated. Like this whole mansion is a complete package. There's everything in this place. I really can't decide which one is better. The mini candle castle or this cool mansion. I'll put both in this tier for now and decide later. Now time for the next build which is a maze. Alright so here's the maze I was talking about and I see a mistake. The text isn't correct. Let me fix that. There we go, Dragon Maze Dude. Oh wait that's wrong. Oops. Oh well I'm not going to fix that. They also have an elevator here to see a top view of the maze. I can see the end of the maze from here. At the end of the maze we have a pile of cash and a giant hot dog that could probably last for weeks. I want to win that prize. So let's not wait anymore and do the maze. Okay I'm not sure where I'm going but I'm just gonna keep walking and hope I find it. I know that the prize is in the middle somewhere so I'm gonna try to get to the middle. A few moments later. This is taking too long let me just cheat roll. Alright I see where it is. Oh my god it's a dead end. What's this? It's the door from the floor. Yes, I finally found it. I'm rich now lol. So yay that's the maze and it's pretty fun to play. It's not really a build that's very good in terms and design. But because it's fun and probably took a long time to set all the walls. I'll put it in the C tier. Time for the next build on our list which is the flying boat. Just looking at it from afar. You can already tell this is going to be an amazing build. We're on the boat itself now and we have the Brazilian and Canadian flag. Shout out to everyone from Brazil and Canada watching this video right now. Why is there a bicycle over here? Oh, turns out this thing is a minigun. So if enemies start invading your ship you can just shoot them down. Pretty useful. This ship probably took a very long time to make. It's literally above the ground and it's pretty big. And the detail they put into it is also really cool. Look, now I'm chilling in the beach chair. And now we're on the captain's room. Lots of electronics and decorations inside of here. It really looks like an actual captain's room in the ship. Last but not least they also have the rooms for the passengers. Not much going on here but if I was stuck on a flying ship I would actually 
really love this. I really enjoyed the build overall. I think it's creative and took quite some time to make it. It's not as good as the S tier builds though so I'm gonna put it in the A tier. Not bad at all. On our way to the next build which is a flying parkour. Okay so here's the flying parkour. Um I don't think this is a good build in terms of appearance. It's just random parkour stuff. But you know what they say. Don't judge a book by its cover guys. So let's just play the parkour and see where it goes. Oops, I fell. Just act like you guys saw nothing wrong. Yeah, never mind I'm too lazy to go to the top. It's not really fun or cool looking either so I have to put it in the F tier unfortunately. Sorry to whoever built this. Better luck next time. Let's go to our next build which is another flying parkour. Are you serious right now? This just looks like the parkour from before lol. Um I guess we'll just play it since it looks shorter than the one before. Not bad it has cool little tricks and gimmicks I guess. I think that's too low. Let me just put this up a bit. Oh come on. I have too much skill issue sorry guys. But as a parkour build this wasn't that bad but compared to the other builds it's definitely miles apart. I'll put this one in the D tier. Definitely better than the previous parkour build. Up next we got the food house. You already know this house is going to be perfect for people like Nick Avocado Avocado. But yay jokes aside this is a really creative and unique build. Just imagine a house made out of food. Well you don't have to imagine it's literally right in front of us right now. It has everything from hot dogs, fish, coconut, pear, milkshakes, apples. There's like enough food here to solve world hunger. Probably took a lot of time for the builder to make. This is just amazing. This deserves an S tier but I'll put it below the other two builds for now. And last but not least, we have the last build which is the stairway to heaven. Have you guys ever wonder what heaven looks like? Well here's the stairway to heaven. It's really tall, so let's waste no time and climb the stairs. Okay this is actually very exhausting. Let me just spawn a deer. Never mind let's switch to a pig cause pigs are better. Alright so we're at the end and what's this? Where's heaven? I got scammed guys. I can't believe it. But in all seriousness, I'm pretty sure this build took the longest. Although it doesn't have that much decorations in detail. I'll put it in S tier along with the rest. There's actually a lot of S tier builds this time. It's hard to choose which one I like the most. But I think I'll have to go with a cool mansion. Not only is it well decorated, but it's also well detailed. And the effort the builder put into it is also amazing. Congratulations to whoever built it. Hello everyone, it's me. Dragon Dude. In today's video, I will be reviewing builds again in Chicken Gun. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay guys, the first building I'm gonna review is Flying Ship. Wow guys this is awesome. Bro this is awesome. Thank you Dragon Dude. Thanks for showing this. Oh by the way guys, this rich guy is the builder. Hello everyone. Are you building this flying ship alone? I built this ship with my friend, Liam. Good job for rich guy and Liam. Okay, let's start a tour on this flying ship. Let's start from the back. The door concept is cool. But let's take a look inside. Ha? Huh? Wow ha ha. What are you doing here Coco? And this is the cafeteria. Oh, nice. A place for the crew to rest and eat, and Coco as a bartender role. And let's continue the tour. Wow, ammo supply. This is so cool. Weapons room. Huh? Weapons room. Oh yes, there's an AK. No, look behind. Behind? Oh my god, weapon room. The weapons are also arranged very neatly, and Coco as a gunsmith. <laughs> Thank you for always taking care of the weapons here. And let's continue. Rich guy and Liam, keep up the good work. Oh, this is the emergency door. And this is the cockpit. Oh, really? Wow guys, do you see this? Excuse me rich guy. Sure. Guys, I won't get tired of saying that this is really cool. And this is the steering wheel. This is so cool. Lol haha. Ha. Huh? What is that? I would give this. Wait, there's one more room. Let me show you. Okay, show it rich guy. And we are back in the weapons room. Here dragon dude. What the? This is where the ship's engine is. Damn, you guys did some detailing too. Nice work. Thanks dragon dude. And let's go outside. Oh yeah, let's look at the outside. Where? I'm here. Oh, this is engines with, with a snow bear, bear on, on the, the top. top. This is the right side engine. And there is a weapon ship. Of course, it's work guys. 
This build is awesome. I would give this a 9 out of 10. Let's move on to the next build. And the second build is, this secret face. Wait guys, bro, the builder forgot to name it. Let me help you. Nice. Wait a minute, if I name it secret base, doesn't that defeat the purpose of it being a secret? Bruh. Yeah never mind guys, let's tour the secret base. Wow guys. Nice. Oh there's a big mirror here. Hello everyone. And there's a computer, and locker, let's see where is the door going, oh to the outside. Nice. Huh? Portal? Um. Um. Well guys this build is pretty small, maybe enough for around 1 to 2 people. Wait there's a door. What inside this door? Oh there's one more room. And of course, there's a TV. Nice. Cozy sofa. Even fireplace. This is a pretty good build guys, a place that suits being called a secret base. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Alright, let's on to the next one. So, someone gave me this house, and claimed they abandoned it, and of course, it's pretty messy lol. Well, let's take a look inside. Oh my god, the stove's still on. Let's tour from the outside guys, inside is too dangerous for now. Why is there a bed outside? As you can see guys, this build is kinda, well, real life Tetris game, just without a strategy or a pause button. And what's this? It's a grave? More better, and another Tetris build, a garage. Um. Okay let's see the inside. There's a tree, TV, and, and floor mattress. How do you get into sleep here? Do you jump? Console game, in the bed, and this is the dining table. With the stove still on, let's see the upper floor. Not much to see here either. And another building. A bathroom. Huh? Why is there a CCTV camera in the bathroom? So it's a broken build basically guys. I would give it a 3 out of 10. Because, as you can see guys. And let's move on to build number 4. Guys, this one is not actually build, but, this one is like a set basically, which I made for shorts, it took me a long time, and I thought I should include it in the video, now look at that, hee <laughs> hee. This looks like a very rich chicken car meat, with stacks of money lying around. What do you think guys? Hee <laughs> hee, rate this set out of 10 in the comment section. Let's move on to the next build. Home, this is a restaurant build someone sent me. Guys, did you see that? This logo reminds me of McDonald's. Well, that ensign looks pretty good, not gonna lie. 10 out of 10 for the M logo, let's get into the restaurant. Um? Inside, this restaurant looks pretty messy. Let's take a look behind the store. There are not many changes to this toilet. What about the kitchen? Um, how do I get in? Home, it's not so good. Even the cashier's desk was very empty. The only thing I like about it is the M logo. I would give it a 3 out of 10. Two of the marks are only for the logo though. Otherwise, it's a 1. Let's move on to the next build. Weird robot. Huh? Where's the robot? Oh that's it. Home. Pretty unique stuff here. Let's see another side of this robot. Looks like a mini robot, not much to say about it, and the eyes are pretty good, but the other things could have been better, like the hands are too short. Also, why are there eggs in the leg bra, and it's moving. And who are these guys? Anyways, I see that there is a small parkour right next to it. Let's try guys. Well, that's it for this build. I would give it a 6 out of 10. Let me know your score in the comment. Shock build. Guys, looks pretty cool. Mm. Yummy. Burger and pizza. That was tasty guys. Wow guys, this is so cool. These looks pretty good from the outside. Also I don't know what this is. Anyway, let's get in. 
Bonfire? Let's see other stuff. Ha, huh? ah, that's it, it's pretty empty from the inside, which is kinda bad, let's see what's next to it. Huh? Where's the other door? Found it? A car? And there's still the other. Guys, I think I know what's this. This is a... Bruh. So this is a truck car carrier. I guess this is the trailer, and the previous one is the truck. Nice. Well, that was good enough, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Overall pretty nice build. Let's move on to the 8th build. Cool server. Cool server literally, hmm. This one is not a build either brah, it's just some random props. But, looks kinda cool to be honest. Hey everyone, I'm Coco, the firework chicken, and I'm currently on a very important mission. If you watch this recording, it's that mean I'm asleep right now. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Let's take a closer look. Damn. This is actually kinda cool. Wow? I think it's a set like mine. What do you think guys? Also, all of this is arranged very neatly guys. Well I don't know what this all is about, but it's cool. I would give this set an 8 out of 10. Let's move on to the last build. So, for the next build, it's one of the coolest so far in this series, a huge submarine. By the way, sorry for the low footage quality, it has been sent to me by someone on Telegram. Anyway, let's take a look. Wow! A nice place to enjoy sea views. Let's go downstairs. Oh! This is the meeting place of the submarine crew. Let's go down again. Oh, this is the bedroom for the crew. Wow, I'm speechless. And another bedroom. Elegant guys. Guys. This is so cool. A gym place. Comfortable toilet. Even the navigation room. Wow, mini computers. The periscope. And the engine room. This is really cool guys, every detail is meticulously crafted, and definitely this ship deserves 10 out of 10. Yup, that's the last build in today's video. What do you think? Which one do you like the most? Let me know in the comments. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright guys, in today's video, I'm gonna do some building again in Chicken Gun, and of course, because I'm not good at building, my friend will help me out, and he's coming in a second. Here he is. You may know him from the last building video too. His name is Crunch, and he is a pro builder. Everybody please give him an applause. Thank you, thank you. So today, we're gonna build another cozy and big mansion again in Chicken Gun. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Oh by the way, everyone watching till the end, will get this money. Nah, I'm just kidding, I'm not Mr. Beast lol. My disappointment is immeasurable. So yeah let's get started. So Crunch will start to build first, and then when he needs some help, I'm gonna help him ASAP. So for now, we can watch him to do some big brain building while drinking some water and eating the snacks. We can also learn how the pro build the mansion, pretty cool right? As for now, we can see that Crunch starts with the walls. Oh now he put the door, but I think the door is not suit with the walls. How is he gonna fix that? Oh wait, he uses that thing to cover it and leave the door only, that was pretty mind blowing, I didn't think of that idea, maybe the pro builders also do the same, and they also have so many tricks that we didn't know, that's kinda interesting to be honest lol. Oh, now he put that blockade above the door to add some detail and make it looks cleaner, that's a big brain move from Crunch. Okay now Crunch starts adding more detail to the building like floor, plants, trees, and many more. Alright, what is Crunch doing right there? Let's catch up with him. No no I'm just kidding. Oh, he put the swing right there. It looks fun to play swing right? Oh wait. Careful Crunch. Anyway. 
it's 2024 already. So happy new year guys, hope you are having a great time and anything your resolution is, I hope you can reach it too. Bruh. What are you doing with a new crunch? Please don't do it. I beg you. Um, he put that Coco chicken statue in the bushes. I bet someone will think that in the bushes was a real player of all. Oh, it's time to bake the pizza? Oh boy, I like pizza, especially with the pineapple on top of it. Um, I mean cheese, yeah cheese. I like pizza with the cheese on top of it, please don't come to my home, I'm just kidding. Okay let's continue. What is Crunch doing in the trash bin? Bruh. Oh wait, Crunch no. What the f- Alright, finally Crunch asked for some help, he wanted me to help with the walls, so let's put the walls then. finish. Bruh? Crunch has left the server. I think he was disconnected or something. Let's wait till he come back while playing the swing. Oh never mind, he's come back already lol. Okay, so the walls are finished, and then it's time I'll help him with the floors, so let's do it. Oh yeah I remember the trick that Crunch told me before, to build walls and floor fast. If I'm not wrong, we just need to place the crosshair at the center and then place the floor while moving to the side. Yeah, that makes sense! Yep, that's right. Now I'm building faster. <laughs> and after that, Crunch told me to economy the blocks because he was afraid about the blocks limit on the server. And yeah, guess what? The server reached the limit and I needed to rebuild the floor again. <laughs> A few moments later. Finish. Now it's time to make a roof. And then Crunch told me that he was pretty tired, so he was going first to go rest. Thanks Crunch, have a good sleep. And now I'll continue to build with my other friend named Musicro. Hello Musicro. He is making the kitchen and I'm still building the roof. And then Musicro finished the kitchen. But, I have a bad news. I just realized that Crunch already making the kitchen. So, Musicro must remake the kitchen again. And then he decided to make a gaming room. I'm sorry Musicro. My disappointment is immeasurable. Okay, let's continue to making the roof. Finish. Oh. Music Pro also finished making the gaming room. Look, there is a PS5, and also a pizza and sofas right here. Very cozy and cool. I like this. Alright, it's time to decorate the living room. Finish. I think we're already finished the mansion. It's time for a quick tour shall we? That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! Okay, this is the front of the mansion. Looks very clean with the walls, trees, and the door. And this is the side-by-side -side for the walls. Nothing in there, and just the walls. And now we go inside the gate. I can call it a gate right. Okay, so this is looks pretty awesome and cozy. Right here you can see so many decorations with the trees. And there's also a pizza stove. We can bake pizza with the pineapple cheese. I mean cheese. Oh yeah, there is also a swing. This looks so fun. Oh and also this is the spy chicken on the bushes. This is only a cocoa statue by the way. Not a real chicken lol. 
Okay let's get into the mansion, there is a living room, pretty cozy right here with a Christmas tree, TV, sofas and many more. And right here is the gaming room. The sofa is pretty soft, and we also have a PS5 boy. Oh and also there is a gaming PC too, and a piano, so cool. And now is the back from the living room, there is a dining table, no kitchen because the kitchen already have its own room. Oh yeah, there is also a water bottles right here, remember my friend, drink more water. And then there is an achievements table, there is a golden play button too, but only in chicken gun, not in real life. Let's make this golden play button real, someday, I'll get this too, we are already reaching 200k subs already, I need your help to subscribe, help me reach 1 million subscribers, and then the golden play button will be real. Anyway, thank you guys for subscribing. Okay, let's continue to the tour, this is the kitchen, looks awesome. There is a fridge, let's see, what inside the fridge? A burger. Nom nom, delicious. And then there is an oven, stove, and many more, it looks cool right? Alright guys, I think that's all for today's video, thank you to Crunch and Music Pro for helping me out building this mansion. Let me know what do you think about the mansion, rate it from 1 to 10 in the comment lol. Oh, do you see what Music Pro's saying? Yeah, subscribe to Dragon Dude. And also, can we reach 5k likes in this video? Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.